The Master of Science, Earth Sciences, has two specializations. One is in the geosciences and the other one is in the atmospheric sciences. So one important aspect of the geosciences is to really to understand the, the evolution of all deposits and how they can be explored and discovered nowadays, particularly as we're heading towards the really important energy transition where we need elements such as lithium and cobalt and other elements for electrifying cars, building windmills and uh, supercomputing. So the atmospheric science is, is, is clearly at the heart of our work as well because we all need to have better, more accurate predictions spatially and temporally to then inform others who make decisions on adapting to climate change, for example. The mass of science, Earth Sciences, has three major components. Firstly, we have a large research component. Secondly, we have a whole range of different discipline electives. And thirdly, we have professional skills subjects. There are a number of reasons why students come to us. Firstly, I think we have really outstanding supervisors and capabilities at the school. Uh, secondly, we have the VIPS program where we share our subject offerings with other universities. So the choice is really much broader than at any other university. And, and finally, I really think that our students have a fantastic cohort. They, they bond, it's a relatively small group of students, but they bond quickly and they have, um, you know, really a, a good, a productive, uh, also intellectually stimulating um, time together with their peers. So in terms of projects and working together with industry and research partners, there are two ways. The first one is we have a dedicated science and technology internship subject, which is part of our professional skills group of subject offerings. And the other one is that um, our supervisors often have good collaboration partners in industry. In the atmospheric science side, it's particularly the Bureau of Metrology here based in Melbourne. And in the geosciences, um, these are mineral exploration companies doing geophysical or geochemical exploration. That really works very well because the student, in both cases, they see how those companies work, what kind of research needs they have, and they just feel highly rewarded by contributing to their program. For the graduates coming out of the atmospheric science uh, specialization, there are a number of uh, career opportunities. There's certainly, you know, research organizations such as the CSRO, but also the Bureau of Meteorology. There are increasingly also um, private enterprises specializing on climate prediction in the context of adaptation. So they inform, for example, farmers how they uh, can um, basically manage their, their land better in the context of climate change. And finally, um, we see increasingly um, business consultants with a strong background in climate change as well because large and small companies have to increasingly adapt to new policies, for example, to reduce the carbon footprint. And all of that is done in the context of climate change. And so as a geoscientist, I actually think that we very strongly work towards sustainability in a sustainable society.